Um, general credit and specific credit, and that's sort of related to your question as well, in the sense that um, it, when we're talking about crediting prior and experiential learning, that, well, I think one of the major things, I mean, I don't know how many of you, are, how many of you have experience of a AL or APEL or AP? Quite a lot of you, so shall I skip over general and specific? Okay, specific credit is if somebody comes to your history, well, that's history, yeah, your history course and says, I don't need to do your introductory module on uh, introduction to history because I've been working in um, a museum for 20 years and I know everything that you've taught me and I can show you that. So they tick off against the learning outcomes against that module and then they don't have to do that module and then they get advanced standards, some people call it <coughs> on that. Um, so that's specific credit. General credit is credit that's not particularly attached to anything that's already validated in a university. And so um, work-based learning degrees, like ones at BINSEX, um, for example, that are what I'm calling work-based learning uh, as a field of study, um, they use generic credit. People bring the learning that they have achieved, whatever it is, and that learning can, it's very specific, it's very related to the individual and, and the experiences that they've had. And, you know, obviously those of you who have been involved in ANCO will know that um, usually it's a portfolio assessment and people in their portfolios bring evidence. So they bring things along and say, so your archivist or whatever is working in the museum says, look, uh, here's some things that, some uh, brochures that I've written for people who come to the museum and is, I don't know much about archivism myself, but you know, they bring artifacts uh, or products or practices that they're involved in and, and explain them and they try to, to give you evidence. 